say it's show time. That means it's go time. Don't say it's show time. That means it's go time. Welcome, everyone, to the 2024 MLB All Star Red Carpet Show presented by Protitas Agua Fresca. This is our 16th red carpet on MLB Network, and it's never been hotter. Like, literally. It's over 100 degrees in Arlington, Texas, but that's not stopping the mascots. Apparently, there's a cooling system in there. I'm not buying it. Not buying it. Mm -hmm. We're dressed to the nines today, ladies and gentlemen. We have been waiting for this. This event has grown dramatically since our first red carpet in 2009. Greg Amsinger, my dear friend, Harold Reynolds, yes, that is my favorite fit ever on you, man. Yeah, I, you know, I had to step it up, Greg. You've been killing it every year, and I've been losing to you every year. You've been trying to stand up the players, but I will say this because of Greg's dedication. I'm not just making this up. You've raised the bar of this whole thing. Well, thank the you, players, man. we got Adley Rutschman to dress up last year. I can't wait to see what he brings. Bryce Harper is going to again have something that was made for this event. The players are into it. Got, it's awesome. We got Aaron Judge coming up here. Oh, my God. We got Shohei Otani. Oh, my. We got Paul Skeens coming up here. Uh, I can't wait to see what they're all wearing. But can we walk through the outfits? Uh, because sure. I, I, I got to be really open with you, okay, America? I harped on my friend Harold for a really long time to bring it in Arlington. I went to my guys at Lebeda's boot factory in Fairfield, New Jersey. And these are just amazing. First ever cowboy boots I ever bought. Great cowboy experience. My guys from Canaan Sunglasses hooked me up. I got a Longhorn belt buckle. This jacket is fire. I'm loving my outfit. I really feel confident in this. I do. Feel good. But when did you start putting yours together? Well, I, I had an idea when you said, hey, I have to wear white because you're wearing black. So I said, all right. But I had to come with the black hat. Then I had to get the boots. Went to Lucchese's. Okay, I got hooked up at Lucas. And they took your credit card. Oh man, did they ever? <laughs> and they hooked me up. But it's looking good. I think I delivered. It's it's uh you know we're bringing it, trying to do our thing and and represent Texas. So I say, howdy, partner. Let's get it rolling. I love that. I, I really I blew a lot of money for no reason because as a, as a six foot five guy, I could have just raided Adam Wainwright's closet. That's true. He looks like this every Tuesday. Yes, yes he does. You know, <laughs> I, we're the exact same size. Uh, this has been. One of my favorite events that we ever get to cover, and the players have really bought into what you're saying, Errol. Well, and the other thing, too, the, what the Rangers have done here with two ballparks, the location, yeah. play, bar, play ball park, everything, this is fantastic. I mean, it's up there with the tops. And now players want to be known as the best dressed at the red carpet. Yeah. It's a real competition. Yeah. Our next guest, Aaron Judge, is going to join us here on the set. So who helped you with this look? I like it a lot. Oh, um... We had a couple people help us, but Valentino, they really, they really hooked and us that, up the nice. Shoes as well? I think those are Dulce. I think those are Dulce. See, but he's okay. got yeah, the yeah, cool, yeah. like, yeah. S sneaks in there, the little stripe with the, the, the yes, uh, tuck yes, pants. I yes. see you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but my wife, she's the real one. She's the... Uh, She's all dolled up over there. Well, yeah, power I can see she looks, stands out yeah, already. Look great. at her. So, so this yeah. is your sixth All-Star game, also sixth red carpet. Have you evolved in a fashion sense every year when you come on to this event? I try to, you know, we yeah. get hooked up with some great stylists that always help us out. Uh, but I learned a lot of it from my wife. Uh, she's the, she's got the fashion down. She keeps up with the brand. So I just kind of go for her and I'm like, hey, honey, can I leave the house in this or no? And so she, she helps me out a lot. Have you ever had an uncomfortable at bat? When you're physically larger than everyone you face, <laughs> have you ever felt uncomfortable? Like, ooh, this guy scares me. It's yeah. okay if the answer is no. No, there's been a couple. You know, <laughs> but honestly, the most uncomfortable I've been is as a rookie facing R.A. Dickey, where you got no scouting <laughs> oh, report. He's throwing he's that knuckle knuckleballs, ball. but he'll throw you an 88 mile an hour fastball that looks like it's 108. I was like, I, I don't know what to do here. I'm looking back at the coach like, what? Where's the scouting report? What do I do? And I love it. I Somewhere so. R.A. Dickey is pounding yeah. his chest, going, I, I I'm the going. most uncomfortable in that in Aaron Judge's career. Hey, I want to ask you one last question on the baseball diamond. Center field, man, you've held it down. 6'7", 290. What has been the funnest part of roaming center for you? You feel like you're you're the general out there. You know, you're the feel like a free safety. Um, you know, I've been playing center field since college, so it's nice to be back there and get a chance to uh, kind of roam, but I got two great outfielders next to me, man. Alex Verdugo 
Uh, Juan Soto and Ryan, we got Trent Grissom as well, who I picked up a lot from him. You know, he's a two-time Gold Glover. So, you know, we just got a good group out there. We communicate well, and we have a lot of fun. So. That just confirms why Greg and I were saying he should have been the first pick in that draft. He played center. He we remembers. Don't worry. He remembers. Oh, yeah. We had this conversation before. <laughs> we'll let you go. Are you you're hoping to face Paul Skeens? Someone has to reach base. Are you hoping to face him? Yeah, you always love it in the first inning, so I'd like to get up there. Oh, uh, the world wants to see it. Judge versus Skeens. Aaron Judge, you're the man. Always love hanging out with you. Look great, man. Appreciate it. Always. Thank you. Beautiful scene. Thousands of fans watching the stars strut their stuff with their families. Everyone decked out, bringing their best fashion possible, leading up to the Midsummer Classic tonight, which you can see on Fox. The Red Carpet Show rolls on with a 23-year-old phenom. Gunnar Henderson of the Baltimore Orioles joins us now. Your first ever red carpet. And if I was going to put money on who would wear cowboy boots yeah. to the red carpet, it'd be you, Gunnar. Yeah, yeah, we, uh, we, we dropped that ball, but uh, <laughs> felt like we came up with a pretty good alternative. I like the element of surprise. So yeah. walk me through your outfit here. Start right. with the shoes, okay? So the shoes are uh, Maggiani shoes. I got hooked up through the uh, gentleman's playbook guy who, of course, did everything else so uh yeah he helped set me up with all that all the and, good stuff and it's the whole suit everything. Yep, the whole suits gentleman's playbook tom set me up and uh yeah that's what we rolled with this year so that's gunner great. you knew red carpet you had to bring it right so when did right. that start entering your mind did adley tell you, you better get tightened up what, <laughs> yeah. were you guys talking about it before what 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 did you think yeah him and uh, him and corbin uh, made sure that i was going to be on top of it to, to have something good for y'all so uh this was one of my one of my better outfits, I'd say. No, we'd be sleeping if we didn't ask about the mustache. Well, it's part of the fashion, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, we got a couple of the boys on the team that are rocking some mustaches. So, uh, yeah, my fiance actually told me to leave it back uh, back in early parts of the season. So. I left it, and uh, sure enough, it's been working pretty well. I, Raleigh Fingers is digging your mustache. Like, you're, you're letting it grow mm -hmm. east to west, yeah. which is what I enjoy. Oh, yeah. It's, there are guys that go different. They'll, they'll go bushy and not as wide. You, you're kind of, you've also got a part oh, yeah. in your mustache right now, which is awesome. Oh, yeah. We, we're letting it ride. But uh, I actually got to see <laughs> when we are in uh, our last day in Oakland, I saw Raleigh, Raleigh Fingers' mustache, and that thing is that's a thing of beauty. <laughs> it's legendary. That's it a thing of beauty. I, I swear there's a Matthew McConaughey movie where he's got a stash and a slick back, and he looks just like you right now. That's I don't know does. what movie that is, but i got to figure it out. I'm going to work on that, All okay? Right. you got to let me know. <laughs> Gunnar Anderson, shortstop at the Baltimore Orioles. Best of luck. We love watching you play, man. Appreciate it. Thank you all right. for having me on. From Gunnar to Lauren Gardner, LG, take it away. I'm here with Yankees outfielder Juan Soto. Juan, first and foremost, let's talk about the drip. This is nice. <laughs> I just yeah, feel great, you know. Everything time. comes from the DR, and we went working with my stylist and everything, so it's been great. Custom made from the DR. At what point in time did you start working on this outfit? Did you know you're going to be an all-star is basically what I'm asking. <laughs> no, I just definitely uh, at the beginning of the season, we start working on it, you know. We start talking and everything. and try to make sure everything is right, but whenever we got the call that we come in, uh, that's when we start making everything happen. It looks so nice. What involvement do you have in that process, and why did we go with the blue? Uh, I, this is a nice color. It comes with the city, I think. Uh, something pretty light, pretty smooth. We all know how hot it is here, so we try to be a little bit fresh, you know, and we're just working with my stylist, uh, Radamez Spiritu, down there in the yard, and he find two more stylists from the Dominican Republic that make this custom for me. Yeah, it's so nice. It's it's the collar for me. It's the cut. It's the fit. It's definitely giving Arlington. It's also keeping you cool. Let's go to the game tonight. We all know Paul Skeens wants to face Aaron Judge. I heard you're determined to get on base. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I'm going to try my best to get on base so I can get Judge up for, for Paul Skeens. I think it's going to be fun and we're going to have a good time. Yeah, what's the plan for pacing, Paul? Uh, I mean, just be ready for the electric stuff. Uh, be ready for the electric stuff and go from there. Okay, before we let you go, you've had a chance to see some of the other AL players. Who's the best dressed so far? Uh, I mean, I haven't seen that many, but there's a lot of guys. I feel like Naylor has a really good stuff today. Ooh. All right, well, we're looking forward to seeing him. Thank you so much. Have fun today. All right, thank you. LG, thank you. Uh, Corey Seager's on the red carpet. The fits are fire, folks. No introduction needed. The great Shohei Otani is on the red carpet with his interpreter, Will. Okay, um, I'm doing this to everybody, Shohei. Walk me through your outfit, starting with the shoes on up. 
もう靴からまあ上までファッションお願いします語ってください、まあ、色は自分の愛犬の色であの中に自分の犬のがプリントされてます。そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そ大好きな球場の一つなので、毎日すごい多くのファンの人に入ってもらって、毎日楽しんでます。Yeah. It's, LA is a city I love. You know, I'm playing at Dodger Stadium. It's, a, it's one of the most beautiful parks in the world. And, you know, the fans are amazing. And you would know, he's been all over the world. But、yeah. Greg, you got something you want to take him through. Go right ahead. Well, I, I, people have asked me, I do, I do a segment called Greg's List all the time. And they wanted me to do a list on Shohei Otani's greatest moments. But I'm like, why should I do that? How about I just show Shohei his greatest moments? Have him pick what his number one moment is. Remember, you took part in the home run derby. You actually, before the derby, hit one out of the stadium. Then you started the All Star game the next day. Maybe that All Star game is your favorite moment. Maybe it's the year you won your first MVP. I mean, that was a pretty special season with the Angels, right? The World Baseball Classic, we can't forget how it ended. Punching out your teammate Mike Trout at the time. Japan wins it. You signed a $700 million contract, breaking all kinds of records at pro sports with the Dodgers. And then you broke Hideki Matsui's all time record for home runs by a Japanese born player. So I'm not going to rank number one. Shohei's going to rank number one. Your greatest baseball <laughs> moment in your career is what? Why? すごいかなとは思うので、まあ今年それを超えるようなあのシーズンになれば素晴らしいんじゃないかなと思います。There's just so many, it's hard to pick one. But I would say probably the most memorable is the World Baseball Classic. Wow. Yeah. And, but I hope this year is going to overcome the, the, my WBC experience. Shohei, awesome. Thank you so much. You're so so great with your time. We really appreciate it. Christian Yelich. Yes, this is not his first rodeo. But he does not look like he's dressed for the rodeo. He's got the、uh, he's got the logos inside the jacket and the perfect hair, which he's always had.、Uh, Christian Yelich out here on the red carpet. It has been a fun red carpet, but I got to tell you, this is the interview everyone's been waiting for. <laughs> It's Greg Amsinger with Harold Reynolds. We've been sweating up here for a while. We got Paul Skeens and Livy Dunn, your girlfriend, who obviously gymnast and. Super social media star.、Uh, the two of you are here on your first red carpet before your first All Star game. What has the experience been like just today for you, Paul? Oh, no, it's been, it's been awesome. And, and yesterday, being, around, being in the clubhouse with all the guys and getting to talk to them, getting to meet everybody.、Uh, I mean, these are the guys that I'm playing against that I really don't want to face the entire year, but it's nice to have them all on the, on the same team for a day. And you had to change your plans to come here, true or false? Me? Yes. No, I did not have to. You didn't have bad, to. Bad tell, I came I... right after the SB Awards. I came here, and this has been one of the most fun red carpets I've ever been on. Really?、Uh, yes. I was going to say, you've probably done some red carpets.、Yeah. So you're used to being upstage on a red carpet, right? So you've got to take us through. <laughs> What are you wearing? I'm wearing a neutral colored sparkly dress down to the floor. He's wearing a white suit and a black tie. I love it. I Did love you help it. him at all with his look? Did you help him put that together? Actually, he chose it himself. <laughs> yeah, I, can, I can dress myself. <laughs>、yeah. I love it. I love it. He's like, I can do this. <laughs>、uh, so we were just talking to Shohei Otani, and I was like, look, man, the American League's wondering what Paul Skeens has got. Maybe you could give him some intel because he did take you deep and get a double off of you. So he walked through how hard it was to pick up the baseball against you. What was it like facing Shohei Otani? It was tough. It was tough to game plan against him. He kind of covers everything, so. Really just had to try and guess what, what he was thinking and throw something else. So, what's your approach tonight as you walk on that mound? Just gonna try to get out. E each guy, I mean, they all they don't have many holes, but、um, just gonna try to attack them and, and you know, pitch my game. That's great. Love that. Awesome hanging out with the two of you.、Thank、have you. fun for the rest of the red carpet and have fun tonight on that mound, okay? Yes, sir. I'm looking forward to it. Superstar Paul s k e e n s join us here. Bryce Harper, my goodness. This is, this is excellent. It is top to bottom excellent. Walk us through, starting with the boots. He's trying to look like Lane Frost. He's the man.
Um, boots, uh, Randy Watson, best boot maker in Texas by far. Uh, the belt is actually my grandpa's. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, wow. so he's a rodeo guy. Uh, road bull um, on the West Coast. And then uh, top here is just something or other. I don't know what it is. And then uh, nice little uh, Tacovis. You even got the uh, voice hat. down now, too. I don't know. I don't want to do that. You no. got the voice down. I don't, I don't want to be like Brian, uh, Brian Kelly from LSU trying to do that. <laughs> I don't want to do that. So you, every, every red carpet, though, Bryce, Greg, hit it. You've, you've hit the vibe of the city. I remember Miami. You had the, yep. the look with Miami Vice. Here we are in Texas. What's the, who's the inspiration? Who leads you to this stop? No, I just think about it. I think exactly like you're saying. I think every uh, everywhere you go, I think it should match the city, match the vibe. If, if, if it has that, right? If it has the capability of doing that. Um, so I thought uh, this matched. So I'll take it. Yeah, I met you when you were 17. I think you were 16 when you met Harold for the first time. We've kind of watched you grow up as a superstar big leaguer before our very eyes. <laughs> Do you ever get like eh, ho hum, red carpet, another All Star game, or does it still feel special to you at this stage of your career? I'm grateful for every moment, right? You, you have to be. You got to be grateful for the moment because this might never come again, right? This could be your last one, or it could be another one, or or whatever it is. I mean, I, I'm so excited for the guys that it's their first one, their second one, and to see Skeens being able to start the All Star game today after the year that he had, or Alec Bohm being able to do the Derby for the first time yesterday, yeah. and um, it's just incredible. It's it's great to see. I love everybody having success. I, I think that's a big thing is I've, I root for guys to have success because this game is so hard. It's so hard to be able to come in here and do the things that professional athletes do or, or anything else. So um, it, it's, it's just great to see. Pedro awesome. Martinez, if you're listening, really, really look at this outfit. Please, Pedro. <laughs> He's going to decide at the end who's best dressed. And I think this is just on brand, Bryce. Thank you. You're in Arlington. All-star first it. baseman. Bryce Harper. Grown up before our very Appreciate eyes. It. Thank you. Bryce, yes, you're the man. Congratulations you. on all your success. Thank you. Lauren Gardner is along the red carpet as well for us here on MLB Network. LG, who are you with? I'm here with Pete and Haley Alonzo, guys. First and foremost, let's talk about the fits. You really leaned into the theme. I'm loving this. That's right. Yeah, uh, we're here in Texas, so might as well, uh, might as well uh, get all of it. Got a chance to wear a cowboy hat, turquoise, bolo, yeah. Yeah, Haley, can we be real, though? You're probably the mastermind behind yes, all this. Yes, yeah, exactly. Of course. Of course. Yes. <laughs> all right, let's just talk about today's game. What are you looking forward to most? Um, I'm really looking forward to uh, Cody Johnson. Uh, he's performing the national anthem today, so he's, he's one of my favorite or one of our favorite country artists, so I'm really excited to hear him play. I appreciate you guys. Have fun today. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Now it's time for Pedro's Fit Check. Presented by Frutitas Agua Fresca. Frutitas donating $5,000 to boys and girls of Greater Dallas in the name of today's best dressed player. That announcement is coming up in mere moments. We have Ellie De La Cruz on the set with the Hall of Famer Pedro Martinez, the judge. We're going to cram all of this into one segment, okay? First mm. and foremost, Pedro, thank you for interpreting for us, okay? Ellie, well, well, hey, hey, don't, don't, don't get confused. He knows English. Well, I, whatever and, he wants and, to do. If you want and, to speak English, we're and in. And he's also learning Japanese. Don't, don't be. Uh, yeah, don't I'm be trying surprised. to learn Japanese. I'm trying to learn Japanese. <laughs> I wish I was I'm that trying, smart. I'm trying. I wish I was that smart. All right, so Ellie, walk me through your outfit because this is 10 Woo, out of 10. Woo. 10 out of 10. Start with the shoes. Start with the shoes. The shoes, there's a uh, Christian Louboutin. Christian okay. Louboutin. I like it because it's, you know, it's pretty fancy. You're uh, here for a reason, Pedro. Uh, You're the fashion judge. It's time for Best Dressed Award, presented by Frutitas Agua Fresca. We've got finalists, okay? Right Adam there. Rushman, right Adam there. Rushman. How do you like that? Okay, we'll move on. Keep them going. We've got plenty of guys to pick from. Alec Bohm. Oh, that's cool. Ooh. That's cool. That's cool. It's a good outfit, okay. He's got the hair rocking, too. Uh, Kirby Yates. Kirby, Kirby Yates. Oh, there we go. I that like suits that loud. Do you like that? I like that. All right, Ellie likes that outfit from Kirby Yates. Uh, we're not done. Jose Ramirez. La Parra. Mr. La Parra. Yeah, La Parra. I love that outfit. <laughs> it looks like he's first day of college. I yeah. love it. And it's also in the heat, but it's good. I mean, Mr. Cowboy. Cowboy hat. Cowboy hat. He, yeah, looks, he looks like a real cowboy. He does look yeah, like yeah, a real yeah, cowboy. <laughs> Straight out of Yellowstone, no doubt. All right, so Bryce Harper is one of our finalists, and Jaron Duran. Woo! Right. I got to go with Jaron Duran. Jaron Duran is going to be my oh, king today. That's because Jaron Duran is play for Boston. Oh, yeah. see, it's bias. It's bias. Hey. Is that what you think? Hey. Yeah. No, 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 it's not bias. It's just, uh, <laughs> the guy is no, young, good looking, no, plays no. with fire, and hey, he's representing Boston. Yeah, no. Lauren Gardner did a terrific job for us along the red carpet. We like talked to all the stars. 
They're here to celebrate the best of Major League Baseball. For all of us at MLB Network, my name's Greg Amsinger. Thank you so much for checking us out on the 2024 MLB All-Star Red Carpet Show, presented by Protitas Agua Fresca. See you at the All-Star Game.